Today's video is going to be pretty different. I'm not going to do a sketch and I'm not going to do some sort of money making scam. I wanted to take this opportunity to try and talk about something that I very rarely talk about privately and I've never talked about publicly. Maybe because I was embarrassed or something. I'm talking about a content creator that I follow that has changed my way of thinking and my life. Honestly, he's become something of a role model to me in the last few years. Everything he puts out, you see it and think, holy shit. I have never seen it that way, and I will never see it the same way. And I will show you my favorite examples of that. All right, who is this guy already? That's the fun thing. No one really knows. There are no pictures of him online, and he only goes by the pseudonym J Iron Word. What we do know is he identifies his craft as modern poetry, and in five years gained over 600,000 followers, written three books, and he did this all completely anonymously. He's like Banksy, but better. And I know that's hard to visualize, but after all of my research, if I had to guess what he looks like, it would probably be pretty close to this. In a rare interview, he said about 80% of his audience are women, but he's most proud of the men who connect with his writing. In that same interview, he said something that really resonated with me. He says, I write for the people who can't express themselves the way that I can. Reminder, it's social media, not reality media. J Iron Word. I think we already know that people only post the best parts of their lives on social media. That's nothing new. But what is new is that he put it in Helvetica font on a white background. Maximize the fuck out of each and every day. J Iron Word. This one fucked me up for a long time. What I find most impressive is that he's not some one trick pony because now instead of Helvetica, he's using courier font on a white background. Seeing all this inspired me to start writing some of my own poems. I'm gonna show you guys a little something that I'm pretty proud of. You are fucking special. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Ian, can you walk us through your poem? What does it mean? Before I get too excited, I'm gotta let you know I'm pretty disappointed in this. It's just that I found out my hero had already beaten me to it. I can't believe I used Times New Roman instead of typewriter font. I guess that's why he's the best. I feel like if you read enough of these, you get a rare glimpse into this man's genius. It's almost like he saw how well Live Laugh Love did and thought, I could do that. Look at this poem. When we look back, it will be the little things in life that mattered the most, like the sun and the rain, laughing and love. I don't know. Maybe I am just seeing things that I want to see. And maybe the title of his book is Live Loud, Love Loud. But who can really be sure of these things? Another big theme that he touches on is pointing out how you're not like the other girls or boys or however you identify. And he does this by pointing out hyper specific traits that are pretty unique. She doesn't always crave candlelight. Most days she is a ponytail, pizza and wine kind of girl. It's crazy because I actually know someone who's like this. This actually inspired me to write something with a similar premise. She's the kind of girl who wears her hat in the sun, but an umbrella when it pours. Yin Kung. Unfortunately, he actually beat me to this one too, so just kidding. I mean, but you don't know anymore. She's a Cinderella whose slipper is made of canvas and laces. The star on her ankle and letters that dance around it are proof of her greatness. So don't take her for anything less than special, because she is a one-of-a-kind all-star. J Iron Word. She's the kind of girl whose light doesn't have an off switch. Amazing. She knows I like her panties like I do our kisses, warm and wet. Some premises are so rich that you can't possibly cover it in just one poem. She's a lady, but fuck is her favorite curse word. Fuck is her favorite cuss word when we make love. Now some would say that these are the same poem, but true J Iron connoisseurs will notice that the one on the right is red. Like any great artist, he's not afraid to experiment with his formula. Now my only concern is that there's still a few of you who don't fully appreciate the genius of J Iron Word like I do. Let me frame it like this. Of all the people who set out to be full-time content creators, about 99.5% of them wash out. When I read a little bit more about him, it turns out he's also a mechanic in Houston while simultaneously being in the top 0.5% of one of the most competitive and sought after fields. And he figured out how to do it with just typewriter text as a side hustle. Listen, I'm convinced he knows exactly what he's doing. And that level of success, not giving a fuck what people think about you, I think that's something we can all learn from. How about one more poem?
I hope your soul finds a reason to smile today. God damn it.